guys, I'm back. I've been busy these past few days. I've been planning on doing this video for a while now. There are some players who struggle kiting Dreamwitch. And that is why I decided to make this video. Okay, so let me go straight to the point. We all know that Dream Witch players will always leech onto a survivor at the start of the match. But here is the thing, Dream Witch players strategically place their leeches, and it depends on where the survivor is going. For those who are not too familiar with Dream Witch, when you see this red icon, it means that Dream Witch is nearby. And that also means you should get off your cipher, so always be attentive. Anyway, experienced Dream Witch players will block off your path with leeches. But I'm guessing you need a good example of this. In this clip, the postman notices that Dream Witch is here, and their first instinct is to head into the shack but the hunter places a leech inside the shack. So unfortunately, Postman gets sandwiched by the followers. This is a situation that you must absolutely avoid, because Dream Witch players will want to trap you between pallets and windows. And that is why you should consider multiple kiting routes when the hunter blocks off your path with a leech. You can try to work your way around this, but that depends on the hunter's skill and game sense. You can try to confuse the hunter by not heading immediately to a specific route. Or you pretend to go to one way to bait the hunter to place a leech and then you take a different path instead. So always be aware of where your leech is so that Dream Witch cannot trap you. Alright, next, let's talk about Dream Witch's weakness. Dream Witch has only one form of attack, which is why it is crucial for them to get an early down. They struggle against survivors that can take multiple hits, especially if they need to leech onto that same survivor more than once. Alright. So here are the survivors that can tank multiple hits from Dream Witch. And you're probably wondering, where is Gardener on the list? Well, the problem with Gardener is that she has to stand still for her shield, and the hunter can choose not to hit her. You either get hit before your shield is up, or the hunter waits for your shield to disappear, and then you get hit. And although Doctor is not your best bet, she provides better support for the team against a Dream Witch than Gardener because she can heal herself and others fast. Dream Witch's second weakness is transitional kiting, which is why survivors who can create distance are strong against her. Because if you keep creating distance, then Dream Witch can't have the opportunity to trap you with her followers. And if you're kiting only one follower, then just tight kite. Dream which is basically a hell ember with a worse hitbox and slow pallet breaking speed. However, the biggest threat here is the patroller. And it's really effective in cutting kites short, since Dream Witch can use more than one. Which is why I'll be telling you how to deal with patrollers.
First of all, pay attention to this icon right here. At every 15th, 10th, and 5th second, you will get stunned by the patroller. And with that information, I will tell you what you can do. When you're about to get stunned by the patroller, you can drop a pallet or vault a window to cancel the stun. But you don't really want to get bitten by the patroller, right? Usually, you just drop pallets and vault windows to avoid the patroller. But if there are no nearby pallets or windows, you can try juking the patroller. Because of the patroller's movement speed and the camera view, it can be hard to control at times, and it can be difficult to see clearly when a survivor is moving around a lot. And now, let's see it being done in an actual match. And if you're a Gravekeeper main like me, just use your shovel. But let's see which other survivors can counter patroller.
But sometimes, getting hit cannot be avoided. And if you're going to get hit, don't get hit by the spawn follower, you'd want your leech to hit you if you will go down. That way, your teammate doesn't get leeched when they go rescue you. Anyway, feel free to leave suggestions for the next guide video. I hope you learned something again from me in this guide. See you again next time my lovely marshmallows.